you might be wondering when you should take your social security benefit. Today, we're gonna go over three reasons why you should consider taking your social security benefit at 62. Hi, I'm Brad Leinberger, founder of Seaside Wealth Management, where we help people plan for and implement these retirement income strategies. We do this for a select number of people. And while we can't professionally work with everybody, we love to educate and help, so that's why we create this content. If you're interested in more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, before I dive into the three reasons of why you should consider taking your social security benefit at 62, let me clarify, this is not the strategy for everybody. In other words, the average person should really consider delaying their social security benefit really as long as they can, which is all the way up until age 70 for a whole bunch of reasons. Longevity, the spousal benefit for their surviving spouse, the cost of living adjustments that come with it. For the masses, the, the better approach is to delay that benefit at least until full retirement, but preferably up until age 70. And it's gonna come down to how long you and you and or your spouse live. Now there's a really specific group of people out there who can consider alternative strategies to really maximize what they're doing. And for those people, we're gonna talk about the three reasons why you should consider taking social security at 62, which is counter to what we would, would coach the average retiree. Reason number one, Social security, so if you find that social security is completely inconsequential to your overall retirement income plan, then this is a reason why maybe you take it early. And what I mean by that is, if you have enough income from other sources, rental income, passive income, uh, maybe even business income, although you do need to be careful, one thing to keep in mind is, if you do take your social security benefit at 62, it is subject, subjected to the earnings test. So if you're receiving earned income or ordinary income, watch out. That's a landmine I don't want you to, to step on. But if your income is passive and your social security benefit is not subjected to the earnings test, that's a great reason to consider, okay, may, maybe, maybe you can consider taking it earlier than the average person. Reason number two, what is really important to you and something that you value and hold dear is legacy planning. And you want to do multi-generational wealth building and wealth creating and create uh, wealth that can be passed on to future generations. So if that's top of mind, then taking your benefit, your social security benefit early and then investing it could make sense. And here's what I mean. Your social security benefit cannot be passed on to your children or grandchildren or anybody else other than your spouse. Your spouse is the only person who can inherit that social security benefit and that's it. So if you're more concerned with really building a legacy and leaving a lasting legacy to the next generations, then taking that social security benefit early, investing the difference and letting it grow, that is creating something that can then be passed down to future ger generations. And the third reason to consider taking Social Security at 62 or, or earlier than full retirement age is if you have a really high tolerance for risk. And what I mean by that is your Social Security benefit, uh, if left to defer, is growing or increasing at 8% per year. And that's guaranteed by the taxing ability of the U.S. government. So in order for you to do better with your capital by, by taking Social Security and investing it, you need to be really comfortable investing pretty aggressively and because you need to get returns that are north of 8% per year. And keep in mind that when you invest in the capital markets, it's not guaranteed, nothing is guaranteed. So having a, a, a sense of comfort around ambiguity, uncertainty, volatility, you need to be really comfortable with those things. You need to be a seasoned investor. And so if what we're describing uh, makes sense to you or resonates, don't hesitate to reach out. We're happy to help you think it through. So again, the three reasons to consider taking it early, social security is really inconsequential in your overall retirement income plan. Number two, legacy planning is top of mind and something that's really, really important to you. Maybe your, one of your highest priorities. And number three, you're comfortable taking long-term risk. You have a long-term view, view of the markets. You're okay letting your capital grow. If we're describing you, don't hesitate to reach out. We can help you think it through about whether this makes sense for you. 
And if you like this content and you'd like to see some more, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll keep it coming.